put those down. I don't want to scare the kids. Carmina. Oh, oh, everything's going to be OK. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it when people lie to little kids. Why are you doing this? Because of your hero here. Until you showed up, everything was running smoothly, but you, you've become a fucking problem. Taking from us, throwing everything out of balance. I think we should just kill them. No, hold on. We don't want any martyrs here. What we want is to make sure everyone understands that your help is a curse. Every person you help, every child you inspire, <laughs> every settlement you build, we will take from you. And when you've got nothing, we'll come for you. Don't drop it. The only currency in this world is power. You, you made us look weak. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Don't be here when we come back. Come here, come here. Oh my God, oh my God. Come on, it's okay, now it's okay. It's okay, let's go inside. Let's go. Come in and fill me in. There's no goddamn way we're letting the highwaymen take what we built. Now they're gonna come back with everything they got. Good. We're gonna make them regret it. We don't have a lot of time to get into a position where we can fight back. So we'll need to know exactly when those bastards are coming. I've sent a scout up ahead. They see any trouble, they'll send a warning. That'll give us enough time to prepare. Oh. I'd feel better if you went to check on him, Captain. Make sure they're ready. Because there's no room for error. These walls fall, we fucking fall. Hope you're settling in here, okay? Hey. I appreciate you helping us out, Captain. quiet so far, but they could show up any minute now. I just hope I can warn everyone in time when the highwaymen show up. We can't afford to lose. Shit, it's them. Get back to the others. Go!
How bad is it? We're in big trouble. We lost a lot of people. The wounded are in bad shape. If twins come back, we can't stop them. There's nobody left. What about that group in the north, in the Wheaton? Is that a joke? I've seen them in action. They hit the camp I was being held at one night. Just two of them took more bullets than is humanly possible and vanished into the forest. The high women call them ghosts. But I know what I saw. Those people were doped to the fucking gills. We need what they have. You realize we're talking about going to Joseph Seed, a man who terrorized and brutalized our family for years. But that was before. He's left us in peace, Mom. Whatever happened in the past is the past. Stay out of this. We need help. If we don't get it, we're all dead. A deal with New Eden is a deal with the devil. It's the only one on the table. Whatever they have, whatever their secrets, we need it. Our backs are against the wall. Find out what this Joseph has. I'll patch things up here. shows up here again, you come straight to your mom and me. Do you understand? I'm hungry. He said we have to find food wherever we can. Yeah, but we don't take anything from him, not even food. Why? Because we knew that man before you were born. He did some very bad things. He, he hurt your dad and tried to hurt our family. Hey, you see him again. You run away as fast as you can. You hear? Go, go on inside, honey. She's got to learn. We do not accept help from the babies.
I did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. He has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me. the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. First time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. And you will suffer. Go. Kill the beast. sent by God, and I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. Listen to my guide, or you will not survive.
I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. You will be the shepherd of my people. Come with me to New Eden. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I have been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. And God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come. Let us all go together. We have much work to do. back safely, but I can tell you went into the bliss. I tried to warn you. I hope whatever you got from Joseph was worth it. But we have a new problem. It's Rush. He's gone. I, I don't know where he is. He said he was going out to do some recon, but he never came back. I've got a bad feeling about this. Please, go search the county for him. I'll watch over the people here. Be careful. Get out of here! Now! This feels real familiar. Like we've been down this road before. Oh. Relax. Stay a while. <laughs> oh, look at that. See how easy you can be to get along with? I wanted you to understand that. I wanted you to see that things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. 
here it is. Spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> oh, you know, before you showed up, everything was fucking. <laughs> Fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is. Even when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you. No future for any of you. Uh. Oh, shit! Michelle, Louise, I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle? You too? need to take care of each other, because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. Don't end up like him. Promise me you won't be like him. All right? I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions.
clever, huh? You think you're hot shit? Because that's exactly what you were back there. You fought great. I think you're the kind of asshead I could work with. The asset. I, I mean asset. Shit we could get up to together. Oh, great things. Great things. I know you got shit to shovel with Mickey and Lou. I can get you close to them. And then you could take care of business. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, Slick. I'm gonna make this happen for you. I gotta put on my thinking cap. Need some space to figure this out, so you run along. Can't think with you nose breathing over my shoulder. I'll be in touch. So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Now the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen bigwigs. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly, the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's tight with a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. I guess without any weapons, you'll have to improvise a way to kill that motherfucker. I'll let you work out the details. Hey, it's Lil Fucker. Imagine that, Lil Fucker in his garbage truck. Hope you got something good in the truck bed there, Lil Fucker. Hope it's worth a fucking while. hell you want, little fucker? Hey, nice to see you too. Jeez. I got a prisoner with me. What do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds if they're a problem. Bring him in. Oh, shit all day. Huh? Oh, what's that? state how much I wanted Frank to die. Thank you. Can't believe that idiot thought he could drive in the derby. I could drive in the derby. I could run the derby. I know more about cars than any of them. I once built a car out of nothing but a kitchen sink. That spot in the derby is yours now. And that's gonna get you up close and personal with Mickey and Lou. All I gotta do is finagle you a halfway decent set of wheels and you're good to go. Look, we don't want to be seen hanging around together. 
so you gotta move on out of here. Now don't worry, I'll be in touch real soon. Here's your car. I fixed it up myself. Filled it to the brim with top shelf ethanol. Tires full of air the whole nine yards. The mug's known around here, so make sure that driver's mask is on your face. Race starts at midnight. Go get him.
best win I ever saw. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Hey. I'm gonna give you the go when the gun's in place. I know you. Derby winner. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you put on a show. Hey, fucking A, you did. <laughs> Killed it. God damn. You know, it reminds me a little of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Come a long way for some of you. Fun as this is, we can't stay long. No fucking class. Been some new developments. Got a proposition for y'all. Come on in! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is he? He is our numero uno problem solver. Mm -hmm. He gonna take us up north and hook us up with some crazy... Fuck is it, fruit? A sacred fruit. The miracle of New Eve. Yeah, that's it. Our boy here says that fruit will give you strength like you can't fucking believe. And for the right price, we're willing to share it with y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? We're the strongest already. Damn straight. It's for real. I've seen it. You hear yourself? Sacred fruit? Unfucking believable. You're going soft in your head like your pops. <laughs> <laughs> Any other observations? I will give you the sacred fruit only if you do as we agreed. I want you to burn New Eden to the ground. A deal's a deal, man. We're reliable. Now. We... we must do it now. Come the fuck on. Man, we gonna burn this motherfucking shit to the ground. Magic fruit that makes you powerful? Bullshit. <laughs> oh my fucking god, they left already? Shit, this is fucked up. Look, at least we can take out these other ass wipes. The gun's behind the goddamn toilet. You got the chance of a lifetime here, pal. Take a deep breath and make it count. took care of you. You just don't seem to want to die. So fucking stubborn. We're stubborn too. The shame of it all is that we could have been on the same side. You and us. We really could have done something. I guess it wasn't meant to be. So let's end this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Mickey, you okay? No! Uh, you? No. Hey, you ain't dying, are you? I guess I broke my promise. What? To Mom. I told her we wouldn't end up like Dad. We had a lot of fun, though, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! Do not die first! You do not get to die first! I'm the oldest! I go first! God damn it! Lou! to take care of you and I didn't and I'm so fucking sorry I fucked this up man you know rabbit you remind me of our mom. She had hope. She had dreams. She... She just wanted to fucking make things better, and I should have listened to her. But things just got carried away. gotta do. Uh, uh, Ethan's gone after his father. You might have time to stop him. Uh, if not, well, we've had a good run. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I'm still alive. You could do something about that. Or if you just leave, oh, you'll never see me again. Ethan, what have you done? I did what I had to do. I freed myself. I freed us all from you. From your rules. Ethan, don't. I will have what you denied me. You gave it to an outsider, but you wouldn't give it to me! I am your flesh and blood. That was God's will. You don't know God's will! I was trying to protect you, son! The taste is sweet. <laughs>
No. Father. Father. I'm so scared. I know, son. Can, can you forgive me? His only fault was that he was mine. gift can be dangerous. And I don't want you getting hurt, Ethan. Well, what about when I grow up? Not even then. But why? I want one. This is not God's plan. Do you understand me, son? You're an old man. And when you die, I thought I understood God's plan. I thought he wanted me to build a new Eden. But I am not his shepherd. You are. soul has become a cancer. I am a monster. And I have only spread suffering and death in the name of God. My family. Justice of God's hand. End this vicious cycle. Give me God's justice. Release me.
He'd be proud of us. Look at what we've built together. How far we've come. There's always going to be trouble out there, but we'll manage, right? There were so many times that I thought we were going to fail. That all of this would be for nothing. But we just didn't give up. Because we had hope. to hope.